The last rate hike in Australia was November the 3rd, 2010, more than 11 years ago. The RBA cash rate went from 4.5 to 4.75%. The next one could be this year, from 0.1%, probably to 0.25%, anytime from May onwards. And the futures market, in fact, thinks that the cash rate could be 1% by the end of the year. Here's what that would look like on a chart. Hardly terrifying, right? An absolute doddle, in fact, except for a couple of things. Here's the number of first home buyer loans that have been made since the last rate hike 11 years ago. 1,141,592. That's how many households have never experienced an increase in their interest rate. And as money became cheaper and banks became marketing machines instead of loan rationers, Australians learned to love debt. And as debt as a percentage of income pushed higher, so did house prices. Or was it the other way around? Anyway, interest rates are now going to be normalised because last week both the Reserve Bank Governor and the Prime Minister predicted that unemployment is going to fall below 4%. And in that situation, it's very difficult to justify abnormal interest rates. But the question is, what's normal? Because we've all forgotten. Let's have another look at that cash rate chart. Normal looks like 5%, doesn't it? And now here's the average variable mortgage rate. When the cash rate is 5%, the mortgage rate is about 7.5%. The last time that happened, 11 years ago, the average mortgage was $363,421. And repayments on that were $2,696 per month. Now the average mortgage is $602,035. And repayments on that, at 7.5% interest, would be $4,459 per month. $1,775 more. To make that after tax would require an extra $35,000 in annual salary. Except that in the past 11 years, the average annual wage has only gone up $13,300. So maybe the RBA won't be able to normalise interest rates after all.